So to eliminate something means to get rid of, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, you're going to el just eliminate the variable from the gate. Um, so the way that you can tell when to use elimination or substitution, substitution, which equation do you circle? The one that says y equals. Do either one of these say y equals? No. no. And so that's how you can just tell by looking at it to do elimination. Okay. If it doesn't say y equals and there's no graph, then we're going to do it with elimination. Now, it's not that bad. Okay. So your first step is going to be, because we're doing it with addition, okay, you're going to draw the line and say plus. Okay. And the reason we can say plus is because what? variable has the same number with each. Look at the variables. The x's, okay? So I got a 6x and a negative 6x, okay? And those have the same number. So those are the ones that you can eliminate. What is ne a 6 plus negative 6? Zero. Zero. And so these uh, ones eliminate, okay? Mm -hmm. And so then we just go down and add just like you normally would. So what is 2 plus negative 7? Negative 5y, 4 plus 16, 20. 20. Okay, now look at it. How do we solve for y? Uh, divide. divide by negative 5, divide by negative 5. So we got y equals negative 4. Okay, so we got one of our variables solved. Okay, and now we need to solve for what variable? X. Okay, now you can pick either equation. So pick one in your brain and plug it into that one. Okay, which one do you want to use? The top one. You want to use the top one? Okay, so we're going to use this top equation and this is going to get plugged in up there. So it's 6x plus 2, and instead of y, what am I writing? Four, negative 4. Negative 4 equals 4. Okay. What is 2 times negative 4 or and or distribute? Negative 8. So I got 6x minus 8 equals 4. Okay, and then what? Oh, add, the eight. add 8. So I got 6x equals 12. And then what? Divide by 6. What is my x going to be? 2. Okay, so we got x equals 2. And the same thing, what is my solution? 2, comma, negative 4. 2, comma, negative For elimination, some people prefer substitution. Okay, um, it's nothing crazy. So, if we look at number three, look at the x's, look at the y's. Which one are we going to eliminate? Which three? X's or y's? The x's. Why are the x's? They're both three, and we're not gonna say they're both the same, they're opposite, okay? Because eventually we'll do elimination with multiplication, okay? So one is a negative three and one is a positive three, so we can use elimination. So we're gonna draw our line and say plus. What is negative three plus three? Zero. Zero, okay, so our x's are gonna eliminate. Negative two plus negative three. Negative five y equals Negative 3 plus negative 12. Negative 15. Okay, and then what? Divide by negative 5. So we're going to get y equals 3. <clears throat> Okay, now what variable do we need to solve for? X. X. Okay, do you want to plug that into equation one or equation two? You want to do one? Okay, even if you chose two, you should get the same answer. Okay, 
So some of you guys might choose equation one, some of you guys might choose equation two, but you should still end up with the same answer. Okay, so I got negative three X minus two, and instead of Y, what am I writing? Three equals negative three. Okay, what is negative two times three? Negative six equals negative three. Okay, then what? Add six, add six. Okay, so I got negative three X equals three. Divide, Divide good. We're gonna get x equals negative one. Negative one Good. What is this called? Coordinates. Solution. Okay. What is this called? A system of equations. Okay. A system of equations is two or more equations on the same problem. Okay, it's two or more. Okay, look at five. Take a second and look at it. What variable can we eliminate? The y. Okay, see how one has ten, plus 10y and one has a minus 10y. So that means we can eliminate those. Okay. So we're gonna say plus, what is negative 10 plus eight? Negative two X. Okay, let's look at the Y's. What is positive 10 plus negative 10? Zero. Zero, so those eliminate, okay? Negative 20 plus 16. Negative four. Divide by negative two. So we got x equals two. <clears throat> Which one do you want to plug that into? Second one. Second one? Okay, so we got eight, and then my x is two minus 10y equals 16. Okay, and if you already wrote it on the top one, leave it, okay? Solve it yourself. Okay, you're gonna add and subtract and then Okay, so 8 times 2, 16 minus 10y equals 16. Okay, then what? Close. We're going to subtract 16. We're going to get negative 10y equals what is 16 minus 16? Zero. Zero. Then what? Divide by negative 10. We get y equals zero. What is my solution? Zero comma 16. I'll get zero two. Two comma zero. Okay, it goes x first and then y. Okay, I know some of you guys work ahead. We're gonna cross off 11 and 12. One says plus three and one says minus three. Okay, that's important to look at the plus and minus. If they both say plus, then they're not gonna eliminate because what is three plus three? Six. Six, okay. Um, same thing if you have two negatives, they're not gonna eliminate, it would be negative six. 
And the reason it eliminates is because it says positive 3 and a negative 3, which equals 0. Okay, so um, we got our two equations. What is 10 plus negative 8? Just two. Okay, negative three plus three. Zero. Thirteen plus negative five. Eight. Okay, and then what? Divide by two. So we got x equals four. Okay, which equation would you like to plug that into? Okay, you want to do a second one? Yeah. So I got negative 8, and that's going to be a 4 minus 3y equals negative 5. Okay, negative 8 times 4? Negative 32 minus 3y equals negative 5. Okay, and then what? Add 32. So I get negative 3y equals negative 5 plus 32. Huh? 27? Why are you making that face? Use your calculators. Let's go. What is negative 5 plus 32? 27. Okay. And then what? Divide by negative 3. y equals negative 9. What is my solution? Good. We got a positive 2 and a negative 2. So we're going to add them together. What is positive 2 plus negative 2? Zero. Zero. Okay, so our x is eliminate. Okay, negative 10 plus, girls, shush. Negative 10 plus negative 3. Negative 13. Y equals 6 plus negative 19. Which is it? Negative 13. Then what? Divide by negative 13. So we got y equals 1. Now what do we do? Yep, choose which one. Which one you want to use? Second one. Okay, and then do what with that? Yeah, we got to plug it in. Okay, so I got negative 2x minus 3, and I'm putting the 1 for y equals negative 19. Does it matter which equation you pick? No. No. Okay, you're still going to get the same answer. Okay, so um, I'm going to get negative 2x minus 3 equals negative 19. Okay, and then I'm going to add 3. I get negative 2x equals, what is negative 19 plus 3? Negative 16. 
And then we're going to divide by negative 2. So I get x equals 8. What should my solution be? Good. Okay, 11 and 12, you guys didn't have to do. Okay, you got five to do on your own. Okay, get them started. 